Welcome. This video will introduce Women's Wear Daily Archive, which provides digital access to the complete run of the fashion trade publication Women's Wear Daily from its inception in 1910. Remember that you can get help from a librarian using live chat whenever it's available or email. We respond to emails within 24 hours, but usually much more quickly. So my first question is, how do I find Women's Wear Daily? Well, there are two quick links. These are down under the main search box. We can choose to go to the databases list, which is an A to Z list. Simply find the link there. Or we can use a research guide where uh, tools for a certain subject area are gathered together by librarians. So we're going to look for the research guide for fashion studies. And here we go. There are many pages to this guide with additional tools that are useful for different kinds of tasks. We're going to look at the Get Started page and scroll down to Women's Wear Daily Archive. Not to be confused with Women's Wear Daily Digital Daily, but we're going to do the archive for historical access. First thing I want to think about are my search terms. It's a fashion database, so although I could put in fashion related terms. I don't necessarily need to because most of the items will have something to do with the fashion industry. The other thing is that the term World War I did not come into being until World War II. At the time it was referred to as the war or sometimes the Great War. So I'm going to start with a very simple search and just use the word war. Now the other question to narrow our results is the range of years that we're interested in. This is important in a historic archive and in the case of World War I, that took place between 1914 and 1918. So I'm looking for contemporary articles at the time of the war and shortly thereafter. So I can use this time scale to limit to that decade, the 1910s. And then I can also limit within that decade. So now I'm going to bring it up to 1914. So we're looking at 1914 through 1919. You can also enter a date range or particular dates if, you're, if, you're, if you want to look more specifically there. So we're going to update this. We get uh, about 30,000 results, which we could easily browse through some of those. But another way to effectively limit this search is to look at the document type or sometimes document features. Document features include, you know, illustrations, photographs, cartoons, etc. Or just the document type will tell us, you know, we could look for advertisements, we could look for items on retail more generally. I'm interested in fashion related articles and documents. And here we have a scanned image of the article. And here you can see the title of the article and then related images right here. You can manipulate the image by typing on it and choosing from these various options. If you want to keep the article, you can download it as a PDF. Um, but if you do that, you need to remember to get a citation and you can choose your citation style um, right here. Um, let's choose yeah, MLA 8th edition. And then you can copy that format and paste it into your bibliography. Another way is to email the article to yourself. You'll want to choose the format that you want, um, full text, uh, retyped, or the original PDF scanned image. Or you could even just get an abstract and not the article if you want to come back to the article. Remember that you have to choose to include a bibliography here and again select your style. Then you enter your email, your name, and continue to send that email off to yourself with a link to the article. And that's the basics of using Women's Wear Daily. If you have questions or you need more advanced help, remember you can use live chat or email from many pages of the library website, including the homepage. Thank you.